Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft ended support for Windows 11 23H2, which was the 2023 feature update. Microsoft ended support on the 11th of November, as I posted. And that should have been the last update rolling out for Windows 11 23H2. But we also received an optional update at the end of November. And now for Patch Tuesday, which was yesterday in my part of the world on the 9th of December, late yesterday, Microsoft has rolled out another update for 23H2. So the 2023 update has received KB5071417 as a compulsory mandatory update, which will push the build up to 22631.6342. So, so it's interesting to see that although it has reached end of life, Microsoft is still pushing out updates, both bug and security updates. So if you are running 23H2, just a quick video to let you know about this recent update. Now it's a minor update and doesn't include any new features because I think it stands to reason that Microsoft is not going to be pushing features out to a version that's reached its end of life. And the update addresses security issues like the Patch Tuesday security updates do. Now there are 36 vulnerabilities that have been patched. That's five more than Windows 10. There are no critical vulnerabilities, which is good news. And all 36 vulnerabilities are listed as important. So that's just a quick overview as to the security fixes that have rolled out. Now this security update will also contain fixes and quality improvements that were part of KB5070312, which was the optional bug fix release update that rolled out towards the end of November last month. I posted a video on that. I'll leave the video linked down below in the end screen which included a couple of bug fixes taking place under the hood. Check the video out for more info. So those bug fixes will be carried over into this update if you didn't install that optional update, which is common practice. Now, over and above those bug fixes and the security fixes that have been made available, there's also a PowerShell fix that Microsoft is rolling out, which also rolled out for Windows 10, and that's for PowerShell 5.1 with Microsoft saying that the invoke web request, now an invoke web request basically at the end of the day is a command that gets content from a web page on the internet. That's the long and the short. So it now includes a confirmation prompt with a security warning of script execution risk, which Microsoft says you can choose to continue or cancel that request. So that's a fix that's rolled out specific to KB5071417. So guys, very minor update. Still surprised to see that 23H2 is still getting optional updates and mandatory updates. So it's going to be interesting to see how long Microsoft keeps pushing updates out to 23H2 despite having reached its end of life on the 11th of November. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.